camera. That's infrared, and it's designed to obviously, uh, you know, eliminate the challenges you have with optical character recognition that come into play when lighting conditions change, you know, uh, day, night, uh, you know, headlights, you know, wind, rain, things like that that can all interrupt, uh, you know, reliable character recognition. So that's why if you are going to use this software, we always recommend using a, a dedicated uh, camera designed for LCR. Uh, Bosch has a great one. Another company called Sofoa, uh, M-E-S-S-O-A, makes uh, LCR designed cameras uh, that also work well with mild pieces of software. And then, um, you know, you can use a standard color camera, but then invariably you're going to have these bad results, you know, during different times of the day. Um, so, so, yeah, as the, as the, as the uh, uh, you know, the license plates are driving past this image, we in the live tab, uh, you create an LCR view, and, and the plates actually pop right in here into the list on the right hand side. So, an operator can look over at the right and see the most recent plates that have been detected. And if you go back into the list, and like if I click this 499 AJL on the list here, that was that um, that was that 203. It'll show me an independent playback, so I can jump from the live view right back to that when that plate was uh, detected. And you see the red there. That's the detection zone. That uh, you know that that's our target detection zone. I'll show you the system setup briefly too, where you get to choose you know where you wanna where you wanna detect and uh, you know what size characters, etc. to try and get the best accuracy on your um, on your um, plate reading. Can I ask you a couple questions before we go further? Um, Absolutely. So for this setup. Regarding these license plates, is this, uh, do you have to do any kind of training to the LPR system as far as like different plates for different states, or does it recognize all 50 states or 48 states at least uh, automatically? There's no way to differentiate yeah, between the states. US library. What's that? There's no way to differentiate between the states. There would be a way. You can buy custom libraries, so you know if you want to actually be able to uh, uh, to tell. But I, I think that's going to get tricky because you know you, e inherently each state, most of them have like 10 to 15 different styles, you know, different images. So I think it's very problematic to do that, and I'm and I don't know why you would want to do that. I got it. Um, what about the detection area? Let's say you have a license plate camera that's looking at multiple states. Do you have multiple detection areas? Yeah, yeah. Let me jump to the system setup. Um, and I'll show you guys that. But yeah, so so you can see here when I hit playback, um, it, it shows me where my detection area was. See there, 77 yeah. HPG is right in that zone. So you can set up. I can have a, a detection area here, a detection area there. I'll show you that on the system setup side. Hang on, I gotta I gotta pop open the the management client. And I've got this tied to my corporate system, uh, Ray, but it, it'll look identical um, uh, when you plug in the uh, LPR server installer to uh, to uh, uh, the professional installer. But yeah, while, while I'm doing that, um, and then and then so that's so that's really that's that's the live view technology. You're seeing the plates come in, and then at any time an operator can click one of the plates and be jumped back to that to that uh, that view. And you also have this LPR tab that becomes available when you have the plug-in. And that's where you can see the list of all the plates that were detected all time. And then you can deploy filters. So you can filter you with what was seen yesterday, last seven days, all for a custom interval. Um, and then here's where, yeah, we have the U.S. country codes. But, you know, so, so the different plate libraries normally come into play when you're doing it across different countries. In Europe, in the United States, uh, typically you're just concerned about the plate characters. Okay, so if I, I and then you can like let's say somebody was deploying this in Germany, um, and you have you know you could see France and you know the Netherlands and various countries, but through the uh, library would automatically pick that up, or is, is that like a an extra library that you'd have to buy? That's an extra library that you'd have to buy. Okay. Um, um, so yeah, we sell. So when you buy an LCR based license, it allows you to install the software on as many servers as you want, as many clients as you want. Then there's a license per camera, okay. uh, and we include a library. So for most USA installs, we're done. Okay. Now, if you have an international end user, uh, they would want to uh, uh, check the prices that we charge for additional libraries. So they would get their whole country for free, but then they'd have to pay for additional plate libraries to be able
but uh, those are the search functions you can search by plate number or by camera. And then you notice if I click any of these in the list, then the video is here on the right and I can play it back. And then here's where, oh yeah, no, 777, you know, 777 HCE is a, is a, uh, a resident. I can go ahead from the client add that to my list if I want to. So that's helpful. Um, if you're like, oh, wait a minute, Jim, yeah, that, that should be part of it. So then you don't have to deal with the manual and all that. So that's really, I mean, that, that's the key features from the uh, client side. And then here on the setup side, you can go to your LPR server. So then you've got your LPR camera. Um, so when you select that, here's the, the settings that you have available. One is the recognition area. So basically you get to choose to select an image. The video starts streaming in here and uh, you're going to want to click capture image, right? And then you can look at the previous frame, the, the, you know, the first frame, and this is where you choose what, you, what image you want to use to, to design your, uh, your plate capture. So then I'm going to hit OK. And then here you can see where I choose what areas do I want to depict the plate. So Ray, your question, here I could go with my three lane, right? I look for plates. Um, sorry, I got to do one select. I could look for plates here, here, and here. And then I can make it more refined. I can go to a 32, 32 grid if I want to get, you know, really, uh, really detailed. Yeah, and uh, I think a lot of kids are still confused by putting the zero and one with color and then the um, time signal and time signal. And then you've got time uh, three through nine and then you've got the clock in between the time signal and the time signal two through five. Good question. I want to say yes, but I don't know for sure. So let me ask, and then is that? I would think it would since there's more pixels being analyzed. So I'm thinking this will triple um, uh, the processing power required by one frame. Good question. And then here's where you set your character height, right? So the nice thing is you, I've got my screen image that I took, and then I can adjust um, uh, based on, uh, on what uh, you know I've got uh, next to me. So that's where you adjust what height characters. So then, you know, you can choose to ignore larger or smaller characters and just make sure you can get it right. So what exactly the build you use on this one? Because I want to make sure I'm not like exposing the wrong thing. So sure, Jim. So you're using your sample image, and then, it, and then you can use this and drag it over your plate just so you can get it right. So it's identical. So it doesn't matter where I place this. This is just... This is just in case my in case my image in case I'm grabbing up here or grabbing over here, uh, I can move this around so that I can actually drag it right over the plate to adjust my character height. So when you select so when you select the top uh, value and you press uh, and you click on the character height, uh, that that puts it on the the bottom value. I mean, it's it's not going to change. What about the top value? Is it going to change the bottom value? Yeah, the minimum. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then if you click on the these are two value, separate. So like. So like you're going to detect all, you're going to detect anything larger than this, right? Okay, cool. And then eight is, you're going to detect anything smaller than okay, that. Okay, got it. So it's a give and take. And the nice thing is, you know, you might see right here, you always have that select image because, you know, that, 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 that car obviously was pretty low, right? This place yeah. is really low. So, shoot, I wish I would have grabbed that van. Um, but here I'm going to do, um, see if I can, I can, you know, I can't go back to the van. So anytime you can, you know, select with different images, you can, you can, you know, make sure you've got an acceptable range. Here, let me grab the van. You can see now I can hit OK. So like on my recognition area, uh, you know, I want to make sure that, you know, I've got that. And then remember, my other car was like down here. So in that case, I might want to go like this. So yeah, I got to find out what setting the zone affects your EQ. I don't know that. And then you've got reading direction. Um, so that's, uh, um, you know, uh, is the car going, uh, you know, east to west or north to south? So here I can go that way. I can go that I can rotate 180, I can go to the 70, and then I can flip, right? And then you can invert the colors. Okay. I don't know why you do that. I mean, it's just, it's just easier oh, to read. Oh, you would do that if you had uh, a plate that, most plates have the reflective under, uh -huh. and then the characters uh, embossed. I think some states don't. And then here's processing. This is a nice new feature. Um, stop, uh, you know, processing license plate with 80% confidence. So like, you can you can you can play with these numbers in, during your testing and deployment phase to uh, to eliminate um, um, you know uh, low confidence people. Um, 
Yeah. 